unbelievable. Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. If you love the Yankees, but you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if you want to be kept up to date with the latest New York Yankees news or just for plain old New York Yankees discussion. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. So if you could help us get there, that would be an absolute blessing. So listen, I want to talk about the confusing move that the Yankees made. Moves if you will. And it has to do with the New York Yankee lineup from last night's game. Jemai Jones led off. Juan Soto hit second. Aaron Judge hit third. J.D. Davis cleaned up. Anthony Volpe in the five spot. Labor Torres hit sixth. Verdugo in the seventh. Narvaez in the eighth. And then LeMahieu rounding out the order at nine. LeMahieu, unfortunately, he's already a hole. Verdugo is, is also a hole. Jemai Jones, J.D. Davis, Narvaez. I get the whole matchup thing. I do. I, I, I get the whole matchup thing. You don't want to play Austin Wells against a lefty. But you know what? Forget it. Forget it. He's one of your hottest bats in the lineup. Austin Wells over his last month hitting 255 home runs, 10 RBI with a 948 OPS, a 391 on base percentage. So I'm sure if he really couldn't find the pitch to hit, he would just work a walk. Benching him, even though it was against a lefty, one of your hottest bats in the lineup. It's not like the kid has a 750 OPS. Over his last month, 948 in his last 20 games. And you put him on the bench. Just freaking stupid. For who? For Jemai Jones? For J.D. Davis, who's now 1 for 16 as a Yankee? If you want to give Wells a day, I understand that, okay? If you don't want him to catch. But at the same time, he's one of your better bats in the lineup. You need to give Aaron Judge some type of protection because guess what the Mets did? They walked Judge four times yesterday. They barely pitched to the guy. Because he had J.D. Davis behind him. You're telling me that Austin Wells, left-handed hitter against lefty, you're telling me that that's not the better option than J.D. freaking Davis, who's been DFA'd by one of the worst teams in baseball already this season? But even if you wanted to give Wells a day, even if you felt like you needed to do that for whatever reason, you could have put him at DH. You could have put him at DH. If, God forbid, anything happened to Carlos Narvaez, Ben Rice over there at first base, you're going to catch her. DJ, move you over to first. Cabrera, you're playing third. It was very simple. Instead, you DH'd freaking Jemai Jones. I like Jemai. Nothing against the guy. But if you're telling me, putting out the lineup you did, and if that you intended on winning yesterday's game with the lineup that you put out there, you're not serious. You're just really overcomplicating things at that point. Unbelievable. And guess what? You brought in Wells anyway. And I get it, facing a lefty, you didn't want to start Wells, you didn't want to start Rice. Just play these kids, they're better options than what you have on the damn bench. So if it wasn't just to rest them, if it was just to, because of a matchup, then no, screw the matchup. 
I said earlier I understood. Screw the matchup. If there are better options than what you have on the bench, screw it. You, you have to win. You have the Baltimore Orioles who are not taking advantage of the situation, by the way, of us losing. They're not. We're a game and a half out. The hell's going on? Aggravates the crap out of me. Why on earth you putting out that lineup that you put out, Jemai Jones leading off? You might as well let off Anthony Volpe. Why not? You led Jemai Jones off. Unbelievable. J.D. Davis protecting Judge. They didn't pitch. They didn't have to pitch to him. Holy crap. Enough's enough. Stop making, stop over managing, please. If this came from Cashman, how to take care of this then? There's no way. Unbelievable. I, just, I, I can't. It's, it's unbelievable. Un, I, I can't believe it. DJ LeMahieu is so bad this season, and you're constantly playing him, okay, because of the money. I get it. You already have a hole with him in your lineup, and you know this. You created two to three more, and that wasn't necessary. You should have just let Wells hit. Let Wells start the game. Who cares if it was against Quintana? Do you know what Wells' batting average against left-handers is? It's 250. Now, that's not great. His OPS isn't great, but it's 250. So I'm sure against lefties, I'm sure that eventually he's going to pick it up because he's putting the bat in the ball against them. He's putting the bat in the ball. These are games that you need to take advantage of because Baltimore is playing so damn bad. It's just, it's frustrating watching a lineup like that being put out on the field. Whether that's a Cashman problem, a Boone problem, I don't care. That's a disgrace. That's a, take Judge and Soto out of that lineup. That lineup is awful. That lineup is awful. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm not calling for anybody's job. I'm just saying what they put out is crap. That's crap. If you expected to win the game with that lineup, the sub, the first game of this two game set against the Metropolitans, if you expected to win that game with this lineup, unbelievable. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. This is Joe, and until next time, signing out.